How many of us go a full week and by the end of the week, we are skinny, we are lean, we are down weight. And then what happens on the weekend? We enjoy ourselves. It's the weekend, why not? And so we gain back the weight, we look a little fluffy, Monday rolls around and we're like, oh my God, I gotta start my diet again. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you five ways to not ruin your weekend or at least offset the weekend so when Monday rolls around, it's not so bad. It's the weekend and the best thing that I would tell you to start your weekend off with is a workout. At Fit Club, we have early morning weekends where it's not so early like 5 a.m., but it's not so late that it's gonna cut into your day or your kids' events. So the first thing I would tell you is to get a good session in. You can do this virtually as well, but make sure first thing, when you get up, make sure that you plan to at least get one workout in. And then the other day, just plan for a light walk. When it comes to the food portion, you wanna focus on fasting. When you do have your first meal, then make sure that you have a protein shake, and if you need your coffee, then here's what I'd recommend, is that you take instant coffee, and then you put your protein powder, you shake it up, you put it into your coffee cup, then you heat it if you need it hot. If you like it cold, you're just looking for that caffeine boost, then you can have it right then and there. Otherwise, if you need it warm, then put it into the microwave, heat it up, and this is the best way that you can start when you break your fast. When you're out and about in your day, let's say you don't have a breakfast plan, but you just have a really busy day, like you gotta go shopping, gotta go to the mall, you got a kid's event, whatever it is, make sure that you have high protein snacks available with you. You can have protein powder available with you, and it's not pre-made, you can just have it in the car so it doesn't get hot if it's hot out, and then you can just add water to it later. You can have protein bars, have two or three of them available in the glove box or on your purse or whatever it is, so that when you are hungry, you're not just feasting. So when you go to the mall cafeteria, instead of feasting on a massive meal, what you can do is you'll already have that hunger offset, so all you need is a light protein snack when you go and buy something to eat there. But because you've had these protein snacks on you, there's a good chance that you're gonna save money by not eating at the cafeteria because you're already fed and it's been high protein. Then when it comes to your supplements, I would tell you to take your fat burning supplements, so like your leaner or your effies, midday so that it offsets your hunger. So instead of just having a plain coffee, have your fat burning supplements if you're feeling that midday lull. This way it's gonna help you to burn fat, it's gonna give you the energy that you need, and it's also going to offset your hunger. And the last but not least is the biggest rule is to never stuff and to never starve. So never go to a point where you're absolutely like bloated and your stomach is hurting and never get to the point where you're absolutely starving because it's gonna to lead to you overstuffing. So there we have it guys. Five ways that you won't ruin your weekend, you'll keep your gains, keep you nice and lean. What I've done is put together a muscle building and drop fat plan. All you gotta do is go to the description. I put a link called Build Muscle Drop Fat Guide. Click the link, enter your email, and I'll fire it over to you guys.